Welcome to the Visualizing the Birth of Modern Tokyo. I'm John Dower, former professor of Japanese history at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. The subtitle of our MOOC is Japanese Artists Depict the Imperial Capital between 1876 and 1942. My name is James Ulack. I'm senior curator of Japanese art at the Freer Gallery of Art and the Arthur M. Sackler Gallery of the Smithsonian Institution, Washington, DC. During this course, we'll take you on a trip to Washington to enter into the storage rooms of our museums so you can see exactly how the prints that you will see during this course live in their everyday, how we use them, how we collect them. My name is Ellen Sebring, and I'm the creative director of the Visualizing Cultures Project at MIT. And we'll be looking at how historical images can now be used as sources um, and how they're digitized and how that changes how we look at them. For example, in large databases, we can do comparative looking, which is a key topic in this MOOC. As the MOOC develops in later modules, we'll be joined by Professor Hiromu Nagahara of the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. What you're going to be seeing is not a documentary. It's a series of very personal, intimate impressions created by print artists that show conflict, diversity, and real personal reaction to important events in what we call the modernization of Tokyo. There are five modules in the course. Today, in module one, we'll just look at the overall parameters of what we'll be addressing. In module two, called Gaslit Tokyo, we will look at, at the capital city, Tokyo, shortly after it began to become westernized and electrified. Uh, in module three, we will jump ahead to the 1920s, 30s, and very early 1940s, when after the devastating Kanto earthquake of 1923, Tokyo was reconstructed as a much more modern city. In module four, we will look again at this period, this time through the eyes of a range of different printmakers, uh, looking at how the urban life was becoming commercialized and cos more cosmopolitan. And in the final module, module five, we'll look back over everything we've done and talk about Japan's modernization and westernization before World War II. 